Hello, thank you for watching our ActiLife training video. This video will cover the initialization of your ActiGraph device. Let's begin by opening the ActiLife software and choosing the Devices tab. Once the Device tab is brought up, your ActiGraph devices can be plugged in using your USB cable. ActiLife will then recognize the device and the device's information will appear on the screen. The checkbox to the left of the device should then be marked. Please ensure that the device doesn't contain any needed data as the initialization process will erase all data stored on the device. The initialization options can now be clicked and we can proceed with the regular initialization. This will prompt the initialization floating window to set your parameters. A start date and time must be set. You will need to ensure that the start time is at least two minutes into the future. The stop date and time aren't required for initialization, but will be used in this video. With the dates and times set, we can now adjust the modes of the device. The sample rate will allow the device to collect physical activity samples from 30 to 100 Hz or 30 to 100 samples per second. The collection mode will remain on RAW, but this can also be altered. The LED light located on your device can be controlled in the flash LED control box. Your options include delayed mode LED, which will allow your light to flash from initialization to start time, data collection LED, which will allow your light to flash from start time to stop time, or when the device is downloaded if a stop time wasn't selected, and wireless LED, which will flash your light anytime a wireless feature or accessory is in use. Wireless options will enable or disable any wireless features or accessories that are compatible with your device. These options include enable wireless, that will turn the device's wireless features on and unlock the remainder of your options, heart rate, which will inform your device to integrate with the closest heart rate monitor, or data summary, that will allow your devices to communicate with our smartphone apps. The idle sleep mode will allow your device to enter a sleep or low power state after experiencing 10 seconds of inactivity. This can be enabled or disabled. Please note that anything not covered in this video can be explored by clicking the blue question mark next to the parameter. This will take you to our help page for additional information. Once your device's parameters are set, you can enter or alter the subject's information by clicking the button in the bottom right corner. The subject's information isn't required for initialization, but can be entered to better manage your devices. If you choose to keep your subject's information private, the device's serial number can be used. The serial number can be automatically used by clicking the Use Serial Number option. Other options include Use Device Info, which will use the subject info last entered, or Clear. Once the subject information is set, the device can then be initialized. Simply click Initialize Device on the bottom right corner. This will close the floating window and the progress bar will begin. Once completed, the status will change to Finished Initializing. The device can then be attached to the subject. We hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.